Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me. But you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alarzarbintala. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. The end of chapter 5, or at least very close. It is for me because I'm only talking for about two and a half minutes or so over this. Um, this is the Azar Javed fight. At least I think that's what his name is because I completely forgot most of what's going on. Um, as you can see, Berengar is dead. And, well, when I played this through just fiddling around uh, before I recorded everything, he actually lived for most of the fight. So, if he lives, he can at least be a half-decent distraction. If he dies, he's dead. Don't don't worry about it too much. I don't think anything... I'm not even sure if he can live through this fight. I think he dies regardless. So, uh, this fight is pretty annoying. It's not very... It's not difficult, it, but... As you can see, I just got knocked back, I think, about three times in a row. And I couldn't even fight back. Like, I couldn't get a chance to hit him again. That is the most annoying part of this fight. I don't know if they're... I'm not sure if magic affected him. I never used it. I mean, I still had the effects of the healing potion, so I didn't really need to worry about my health too much. But, um... Oh, I did use some magic on him. Never mind. Turns out, I'm completely wrong, but magic does not, like, I don't think the art spell will stun him like the other people and you can get a fatality. Although I can still be wrong again. Um, if you're actually playing along with this, you're very close to the end. And I'm not too sure what I should be saying or anything, because... Chances are nobody really watches these, or if they do, they don't really care to hear my voice. I'm not very interesting, but I keep saying that, and I really should think of something else to say as an excuse for being boring. Um, yeah, this fight's really repetitive. I mean, if he didn't knock me down so much, it wouldn't be as bad. And either way, he's dead, so check his corpse. And then go to that mirror that's in the room. It's on the little platform that you're fighting. And when you... You'll see a scene where the real enemy is revealed. And then the, there's nothing to... And then the chapter ends very soon. I'll see you guys later. Javed, can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Geralt, you're here. Are you alright? I told you I could handle them. What happened below? I'll tell you later. Geralt. The 
leader of Salamandra is dead. Great. Learn anything about who's behind Salamandra? Yes. The Order of the Flaming Rose. Oh, lords. But that means... Exactly. We need to return to Vizima and inform the King. I saw a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Good. Geralt. What do you know about the Grand Master? He's very charismatic, with a talent for magic of the wild kind. Wild? Like a source. He uses the power intuitively. He had no mentor and attended no magic academies. I checked. He probably tamed the power through tremendous discipline, typical of religious sectarians. How powerful is he? Hard to say. He shields himself well. Geralt. Ready to cross? Yes, you? Grab the oars. <laughs> 